All right, so we got top 10 video games of 2023 so far. Again, so far in your video. So far, I would say Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is number one. Zelda TOTK is number one. That's number one. Welcome number to two, I will go. Today we are counting down our picks for the Jedi top Survivor. Video games of 2023 so far. Three, I will go. Oh man. Three, I will go. Oh, would you say Final Fantasy? Would I count Final Fantasy in? So far this year that have blown I'm putting Resident Evil 4 remake at at at, at four. And just how dang fun they are to boot up and play. Did any of these make your list? Do you think anything in the latter half of 2020 oh, come in and take the crown for the years? I'm gonna go Atomic Heart no at five comments. or six. Hey Mojoholics, for a chance to win cash prizes, Man, I don't... play our live daily trivia challenges every day. I don't know, but uh Zelda's number one. Shout out to watch Mozo Games. Number ten, Dredge. Dredge. I have not played this game yet. I'll be real. I haven't even read to the trailer of this. This is number 10. It was safe to go back in the water. While on the surface, this indie game presents itself as a well-crafted borderline zen fishing simulator where players will go about catching their quarry, upgrading their boat, yeah, I've not played this before. And their earnings in an all too satisfying cycle. There's just one thing. The ocean also happens to be host to all kinds of eldritch monsters who, if you aren't careful, will drag you under. I mean, it's the ocean. What is while more atmosphere okay hermit right the hermit crab okay more, it's still effective and will have you questioning just how many close calls with cthulhu it takes before a person should really consider a career change. yeah i've not played this before comment down below if you guys played this uh played this before you know and if it's good tell me down below i might Number check nine, it out diablo 4 diablo at nine I might, uh, no, I might have to bump Diablo up though. I was thinking about putting Diablo at five, but at nine? I don't think so, man. Microtransactions, issues with the end game, and other Activision Blizzard nonsense we wish weren't here, for sure. But holy mama Lilith, if this isn't some of the best content we've experienced since Diablo 2. Nine though? Okay, what's eight? Best believe we're about to dissect this whole list. Because Zelda is number one. That's that's of offensive abilities. Period. <laughs> Zelda is number one. Story campaign all wrapped together felt like the perfect Zelda is number one. I promise you, Zelda is number one. We don't even have to even like think. But Diablo at nine? What's eight? Number eight. Star Wars Jedi what? Survivor. Oh no, no, y'all, no, no, y'all trip. Y'all are no, y'all are no. While it is a damn shame about this at eight, or lack thereof upon give me seven games better than Star Wars Jedi Survivor, please. No, hold up, I'm challenging you. Watch Mojo. No way, y'all didn't do this at eight. Zelda's number one. We know that. Zelda is better. Is number one. We know that. One of the most exciting hub worlds we've explored in modern gaming. What? Okay. And most importantly of all, we got to see Cal Kestis with a handlebar mustache. Yeah, the Doctor Disrespect mustache. What's number? Padawan be pushed to the brink and potentially seduced by the dark side was truly gripping. And after that finale, every Star Wars fan is asking the same question: When is Rick the Door Technician getting his own game? Oh no! One hit. That man's one hit. What's seven? Number seven, Hogwarts Legacy. No. Vote number. No. Vote no. Twelve. Memories uh, stay. <laughs> no. There's not been a game to date no. that's captured the magic and Hogwarts Legacy Hogwarts is really good, bro. It is. I and promise sure, you, it is. Not exactly but over high, Star Wars, did I survive? No, bro. No. 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 Reading can be as magical as any spell. It's good, bro. But Hogwarts is uh, it's is early too. Why is this seven? Players get to revel in the thrill of exploring iconic locations from the source material, dueling it out with spells. I don't know, bro. Hogwarts Legacy is a really good game, bro. But at seven, it, it, I don't think it's supposed to be at seven either. about everyone. The potential for the IP going forward with such a grand foundation now in place is honestly staggering. 
obviously, you know, my picks are opinion based. But like, bro, come on, y'all. Number six, Hi Fi Rush. What? Uh uh. Uh uh. No. This thing came out of nowhere, and yet from the moment it was shadow launched, it charmed and impressed basically everyone who played it. Introducing the head of production, Rico. Nah. Oh no. With combat nah. to combine the easy to learn and hard to master mechanics of rhythm games, no. along with hack I disagree. I haven't even heard about this game, y'all. Respectfully. Respectfully. I'm not like here to disrespect nobody that even participated in creating this game. But I don't think so. I don't think so. Did we mention how much the song slapped? No. Better than Hogwarts Legacy and better than Star Wars Number that is a five. Final Fantasy Final Six. Fantasy des deserves to be up there. Final Fantasy deserves to be top 5. But no way is High Rush better than Hogwarts Legacy. And and and, and Star the Wars, cloud, there's no Yoshi way. He is here to show you how it's done. No, man. Delivering wholeheartedly no. on the Final Fantasy experience they had promised with a medieval twist and a splash of DMC inspired swordsmanship for good measure, this latest installment is both a frantic fest of fantastical fights seeped in rich lore whilst also serving as one of the most approachable entries in the franchise to date. Father, take Joshua and get to safety. No, man. I'm not going without you. <laughs> Shield. This is top five. Weaving this is definitely top five. Class, I would agree. Skills, Final Fantasy is top five. And like, spectacle definitely top five. Between the kaiju sized icons is a gameplay loop. But no way. Getting tired of no way. This, hey, no, this game is bro. Oh my god. This game is unreal. Number What's four? Street Fighter Six. No. 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 Good game for sure. Very good game for sure, but better than Star Wars. Uh, I said Star Wars. Uh, Star Wars. If it had any hope of getting back on its pedestal. And Hogwarts Legacy? No. No. I just I disagree. I know it's, I know everything is like opinion based, but I'm going off of my opinion. No. This is an exceptional no. title. Star Wars is up there though, but no. That even non-fighting game fans are bound to have a blast playing it. The overdive mechanic star wars is, is good it is a really good game it is i promise you it is small yet dense no and newcomers that have already we're talking about a game that's already had an impact all this year no their fantasy of getting kicked around by cammy this better than what's three number three dead space no 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 dead space really good game Really good game, but no. This year will go down. No, bro. Age for remakes and remasters, and the one that kicked it off okay, you know what? I'm about to get my own top uh, top ten after this. I got my top ten already. Descent into the Necromorph infested Ishimura has been lovingly recreated in all its gruesome glory. No, man. Dead Space, really good game. Again, all these games are good. It's just, bro, they threw me off with the high rush over Hogwarts Legacy. I know they're gonna watch Moses is gonna put Resident Evil 4 remake at two. We we know that. Way more personality thanks to some additional. And then they're gonna put Zelda at one. Obviously. Is now seamless. They completely replaced that awful tourist section for another horrifying boss fight. We've even got side missions and even alternative endings for the committed completionists out there. We've never been more eager to dive back into a walking nightmare. Number two, Resident Evil Four. Yeah, Resident Evil 4 is up there. I can't. I'm gonna give my own list, man. I can't wait to give my own list, bro. Guys, stick around. I'm gonna give my own list after after they announce Zelda. Of all time and brought it into today's gaming landscape without ruining what made the original so special. Leon's mission to rescue the president's daughter, whilst shooting through an endless swarm of infected along the way, has never looked or played better. That threw me off. That high rush threw me off, bro. The gunplay I'm still thinking about that. The system feel amazing to control. The enemy variety and design will constantly have you on your toes. 
the roundhouse kicks, the merchant's accent, that threw Leon's me air, off. The infinite rocket launcher. There is so much to love here. It's almost Resident nonsense. Evil 4 is a really good game. Where the franchise goes from here is a mystery, but there's no denying this is a new high point. Then no, no, obviously Zelda. Zelda Zelda's number one. Zelda is the best game right now. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and Zelda is is definitely the best game videos. like out of like in this year. It's the best game out. All of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one. Obviously. Legend of Zelda. Would even have to. I I literally. I come on. We we knew this. We knew this. We I said this multiple times. We knew this. We knew this. And I didn't have yeah. Nintendo to show the world how a sequel is done and blow us away in the process. The hype and ten out of ten game, bro. Follow up to Breath of the Wild could not be more monumental, and yet somehow they pulled it off. Hyrule is just as massive as before, filled to the brim with enemies and dungeons. They made Zelda bi uh, bigger, better. Only now, like, it's, it's just crazy, bro. And the depths to explore. <laughs> There is so much to do here. Yeah, that's there not is. even touching upon the freedom this game gives players when it comes to constructing giant weapons. Bro, vehicles, that's my favorite part of the game, bro. Game it is you building your own uh, vehicles, weapons, anything like that, bro. You just have the freedom of, like, doing a lot of things, bro. 